Hi guys, my name is George Sulu and today I'm going to do a short presentation on uh, the calculation and administration of magnesium sulfate. So magnesium sulfate, this is just a drug which is given to a pregnant woman who has uh, developed a condition known as uh, eclampsia. And uh, basically eclampsia, this is uh, a condition which is specific to pregnancy and it comes as a complication of another condition known as uh, preeclampsia. Now the eclampsia we're talking about is characterized by hypertension, proteinuria, uh, with or without edema, and seizures. So in this condition, magnesium sulfate is given in order to prevent seizures. So now let us go straight into our discussion for today, which is uh, calculation and administration of magnesium sulfate. So the magnesium sulfate that we're talking about is given into two parts. It is given as a loading dose as well as the maintenance doses. So immediately when we realize that someone has preeclampsia, which is going to complicate into eclampsia, then we start magnesium sulfate. So the one that we give when we just start is known as the loading dose. Thereafter, we we'll continue with the, the maintenance doses. So now let us calculate the loading dose. Then thereafter, we we'll talk a bit about uh, the maintenance doses so the total amount which is given as the loading dose is 14 grams now out of this 14 grams 4 grams is given as intravenous while the remaining 10 grams is given as intramuscular so now the one that is given as IV since it's it will go direct into a blood vessel. We cannot give it as a 50%. So something to note is most manufacturers of magnesium sulfate, they manufacture it as a 50% concentration. Now 50% is highly concentrated such that it is not advisable to put a 50% concentration into a blood vessel. So it has to be reduced from 50% to 20%. So let's start by calculating the one that we're going to give as IV. We have to reduce it from 50% to 20%. And we're saying that the one that we're going to give as IV should be four grams. So the standard calculation for magnesium sulfate is that one gram of magnesium sulfate is always equal to two mils. This means that if you get a syringe, then you withdraw two mils in that syringe. Of magnesium sulfate then you would have withdrawn one gram of magnesium sulfate so now the one that you're calculating for is the one that we're giving as IV which is the four grams so how many meals are we going to withdraw in a syringe for us to have a four grams in a syringe so we've said one gram of magnesium sulfate is equal to two meals so if one gram is equal to two meals what about four grams? So we're going to do the cross multiplication. And you agree with me that if you do the cross multiplication, then the four grams will be eight mils. So this means that if you get a syringe, then you withdraw eight mils of magnesium sulfate. Then you would have withdrawn four grams of magnesium sulfate. Now remember that this eight meals that you have withdrawn of magnesium sulfate, it is still 50%. It has not yet been reduced to 20%. So now we need to continue with our calculation so that we can now calculate the amount of uh, water for injection that we're going to add to the eight meals of magnesium sulfate so that we can reduce it from 50% to 20%. Now, that's where an equation comes in. So, there's an equation which is used to find the amount of water that is going to be added to the magnesium sulfate to reduce it from 50 to 20. And the equation is concentration available, you divide by concentration required, minus 1. So, since the concentration that we, we, we have, concentration available is 50, so the 50 will be on top. Then concentration required is 20, it will be under minus 1. So we're going to say 20 into 50 minus 1. And you agree with me that the answer it's going to give us is 1 
0.5. So this means that to that 8 mL of magnesium sulfate, we are reducing from 50 to 20. To each mL of that 8, we are going to add 1.5. So if we are adding 1.5 to each mL of 8, that will mean 8 by 1.5. And that is going to give us 12. So that 12 is what we are going to add to the 8 mL of magnesium sulfate. Then we are going to have a total of 20. So this means that we have reduced the 4 grams which if you with the drawing a syringe is going to be 8 grams. We've now reduced it because we've added 12 mils of water for injection. So what we're going to give as IV is 20 mils of 20% magnesium sulfate. So that is what we're going to give as IV. What about the one we're going to give intramuscular. Remember we said the one that we're going to give as intramuscular is the remaining 10 grams. So now this 10 grams, 5 of it is going to be given on the right buttock. Then the remaining 5 is going to be given on the left buttock. So now let's calculate. So we said this one is going, is, we're not going to reduce it from 50 to 20. This one we're going to give it direct because it's going into a muscle and from muscle then into a blood vessel. So this one will give it direct as a 50%. So we just have to know how much we should withdraw in a syringe. So remember we said if 1 gram of magnesium sulfate is equal to 2 mils, what of 5 grams? So again do the cross multiplication. So if 1 is equal to 2, then 5 is definitely going to be 10. So, we're saying that on one buttock, we'll give 10 mils of 50% magnesium sulfate. Now, to that 10 mils, we're going to add 1 mil of 2% lignocaine. So, we're going to withdraw 10 mils of uh, magnesium sulfate plus 1 mil of lignocaine. That's what we're going to give to each buttock. Now, remember, before you give magnesium sulfate. You should look at three perimeters. One, they should be patellar reflex. Two, the urine output per hour should be more than 30 mils. And three, the respirations should be more than 15 breaths per minute. Then you can go ahead and give magnesium sulfate. And on the maintenance doses now, so for the maintenance doses, you will be giving 5 grams intramuscular every after 4 hours. So every 4 hours, every after 4 hours, you are going to give 5 grams of magnesium sulfate, IM. So that is about 10 mils plus 1 mil of lignocaine. That's what you'll be giving as maintenance doses every after four hours. But in case, before you give the next maintenance dose, a patient convulses, then you should give two grams intravascular so that you can arrest or you can stop the seizures. So this is what I thought I can discuss with you on magnesium sulfate. Thank you so much.